distinguished panelists, uh, Padam Shri, Dr. Pritam Singh, other distinguished um, delegates and friends and guests, and young students. Uh, I can now offer to say good afternoon to everyone. Uh, we, are, we are behind the schedule by about 45 minutes. I think we need to catch up. Uh, one thing which has been taught to me by my organization where I spent my association with this organization is 38 years in terms of time. Sometimes we cross the time, how as a management professionals, as a great academicians, how to cope up with change and move forward. A leadership is one who can cope up with change. I think, you know, this is my mantra. I think I heard Dr. Pritam Singh Ji talking about the change management. I think one thing I learned was, how can you cope up with change? Then only you can survive in this VUCA world or changing environment or a global environment. Um, I'm glad that I'm only a moderator. I'm not a speaker. So I just want to um, uh, admit that because uh, we have a very, very distinguished panel here. I think we have to seek best out of them. And I don't have to introduce them as already been introduced. Uh, due to um, paucity of time, we try to curtail with the consent of everyone to 50 minutes, uh, the total session. Is it okay, sir? Uh, 50 minutes total. Okay. And uh, you see, if each one can spend about 10 minutes um, max, uh, then we can leave it to a house to ask some questions or got a comment so that we can cover this. Uh, is it okay to everyone, sir? Uh, we have not uh, decided any we didn't have any discussions, but I, you know, as you're all aware, I think the whole basic idea, a lot has been said in the morning, and I don't want to repeat what has been said. You can keep saying half glass full or half glass empty. Why we don't figure very much in the top 100 business schools in India or in the globally, why when only few have been acclaimed? I think Dr. Krishnan has given a paper where he's talked about as internationally acclaimed, we had at least three of us in the first 60. I don't, I'm not getting into that, but the fact remains, there is always scope to improve and how to keep changing our whole approach, both in terms of leadership at the academic level as far as in the outlook of the corporate. When we are talking about, you know, firstly, I need to also commend Subrato for taking this initiative. As uh, has been said earlier, there are a lot of forums, whether All India Management Association used to do it for many years, directors, conclave, and then NHRD has started doing it, and many other associations and organizations, uh, including um, uh, Dr. Devi Singh has called me once to IIM Lucknow when they're having AIMS conference and all. We have been talked in many forums. I think the most important is we have to translate that into action. Time has come. We need to really get into action rather than talking it, this can be done. And no one can be blamed for the current environment because today the topic we are talking about, how do you co-create a curriculum which is more, uh, which meets the requirements of all the stakeholders, be it academicians, be it business, be it students, be it, uh, be it, uh, be it the organizations, be it the government and so on. So all the key stakeholders, how do you co-create that? I think. There are many attempts have been made, a small, I think, where I've been, a, I have been involved, partly, I think it has started with my uh, colleague and uh, distinguished friend, Santrup Mishra, when he was a national president with Dr. Pritam Singh in MDI. We started for the first time a business-oriented approach to this whole curriculum. What is the, what is the industry requires? What is the academia can support? How do you make it happen? There was a collaboration we started with a bank, but um, you know, it is not in the same state as today for many, many other reasons. I don't want to blame anyone. Partly um, industry is responsible, partly academia is responsible, change of leadership, change of approach, change of attitudes, and many things have happened. But I think a time has come. I think we need to do this. I just want to take only one thing because this is my favorite subject. I'm not saying when we start, two things I just want to highlight it and leave it there. One is an industrial relations. I think, you know, when you're talking about industrial relations, any professor or any curriculum I see it, I've been, you know, I don't want to name the institute, you can pay, figure out. I've attended in 1988 a session at taking a placement from one of the most reputed HR institutions in India. I've asked one question at that time, 87. I think. 
It was, what is the difference between HRD and uh, human resources, and what is the personal management? Everybody has done it brilliantly. All 34 students I've interviewed have given only one type of answer. The next question I asked is said about strike. Said, uh, no, we don't focus on strike because we are not looking for careers in industry relations. I think what is important today, I think it is not IR, it is not HR, it is not OD, it is not LD. What is important, what is required for the businesses? Many, many top Indian organizations who have nothing to do with the so-called union and union management or blue-collar workmen are suffering because they don't know how to handle it. In the hospitals I have seen, we have a very talented HR professionals. I just to give an example. They don't know when the junior doctors go on strike how to handle it because we are not being taught. So the reason is I think the business orientation is important. What is academicians can do, what business business leaders can do is important. Any academician, I'm saying with due respect, when I started learning and MA, I, I know I only have done many mergers and acquisitions, integrations, but I never had the concept. I was trying to teach in one of the institutes, Great Lakes University, on MA. When I went there, Bala Bala was there. He said, spend time with the academician. When I started spending time with him, I understand. I know what to do it, how to do it. But I don't know why to do it, what is the structure, what is the disciplined approach, what are the types of mergers and acquisitions, how we can up segment it, how can you approach it. It has given a learning. So I think concepts, theory is important. But how do you translate that concept and theories to need the business requirements, which keep changing from time to time? I think, you know, in 70s, we started a career. It is, it is HR means it's more employee relations and welfare administration. It has gone through a major changes, which is very good. Globalization, economic liberalization. But a time has come, this is a cycle. There's some requirements come back. If you ignore it, you are not a holistic business leader who can meet the requirements. So I think, you know, this is one aspect, either beat in a merger. So a person who has done a strike can give you the, can you give the practical storytelling or experiential learning? A, a academician can tell you the concept why, what it is a provision, what is to, how it is done. Similarly, in mergers and acquisitions, to give you two examples. So these are very important aspects which we need to make. I think a lot has to be done by the industry. It is no point in just saying, you know, saying, you know, these are the, you have to write, unless you collaborate, and at the same time, there is an, a sort of a, a, a response and, a, and an effort and a cooperation from the from the academia saying that you can also join we can tell you the theory and concept but you can collaborate and help us to make it more practical uh, you know when i said cope up with change is constant has been said change is dynamic so how do you make those changes addressed there are many things i don't want to get into it. the whole concept of selling a modern accounting, a value chain, supply chain to value chain, which has gone through in major changes. But how many courses were done without criticizing? When I was involved with an FMCG for 35 years, when we used to go and recruit for GlaxoSmithKline consumer, we were looking specifically people in MBA marketing from Ahmedabad or Calcutta in the area of, in the area of sales. And none of the students, most of the students, are not familiar with the sales and distribution except covering one or two courses. Everyone is in a brand management, marketing strategies, innovations, but not on the sales and management, which was a need of the hour at that time for sales because we had a separate segmentation for selling as compared to marketing. So I think these are a couple of broad examples. Things have changed a lot and moved on, but I think it requires that sort of a co cooperation and collaboration to make it a co-creating a, a syllabus which is contemporary, which is more practical, business oriented with the inputs of the theory. With these few words, um, I would like to hand over. I have not decided, sir, uh, uh, if I can uh, submit uh, one of the academicians can start and then uh, industry will come. Is it okay, sir? Uh, I think, can I request uh, Professor Devi Singh? Thank you. <laughs> you. <laughs> yes. So D and D have got affiliations. Yes. 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 Y